So last night on Fox News, Tucker Carlson tried to talk about the George Floyd Derek Chauvin case and in the process literally snapped and went insane when a police officer wouldn't agree with him. People are going through the windows of Macy's and the cops are just standing there. Do they resign no, no. because we all, we obviously their honor is being no. violated, but they're not doing anything about it. When do they start doing something about it and protecting everyone else, not just George Floyd? No, no. What I want, I want people to protect. I want the police to protect people. But when specifically what we're dealing here, we're dealing with a person in custody who was handcuffed and he was subdued. Right. At that point, you know, we have to take a different tact. And, and one of the things I just want to suggest. Well, Tucker, I'm there's, totally there's a willing thing, to believe that. Yep. Yeah, the, 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 the U.S. Department of Justice came out with a, a position paper on positional asphyxia and sudden death. It was published in, in, in 1995 and again in 1998. I think every law enforcement officer should read that. It should be read at roll calls. Because what it does, it, it talks about the physiology of a struggle. Now, like I said, Mr. Floyd was brought under control. What, what should have happened at that point is uh, uh, EMS should have been summoned and he should have been placed in an ambulance. And a supervisor should have been yeah. called to the scene. I, I, I just think that... It was excessive yeah, and well, it shouldn't the, happen. The, and what I'd like the, to do, the guy more, who did it looks like he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. So I'm kind of more worried about the rest of the country, which, thanks to police inaction, in case you haven't noticed, is like boarded up. <laughs> so that's more my concern. Well, but I appreciate let, you let, coming let, on. Let, Ed Gavin, thank let, you. Let, let, nope, done. Thank you. Heather McDonald is the author of The War on Cops. She joins us with Reaction. And so what you saw there was the back half of an interview between Tucker Carlson and Ed Gavin, who's a retired police officer. And basically, Tucker Carlson tried to have this guy on, I guess he didn't do his research, to basically agree with him and say, look, after this verdict, after all the disrespect being shown to the men in blue, no one's going to want to be a police officer in America anymore. No one's going to want to be a law enforcement officer because there's no respect, there's no protection, there's no dignity for them and the cop disagrees and he says look lots of people are still going to want to be police officers and I'm concerned about officer safety but this was not a case to be concerned in because as he says George Floyd was subdued like he was subdued he was you know he was in cuffs and all these sorts of things he was already taken care of there was no need for Chauvin to do what Chauvin did and what he's basically saying is look there are protocols here there are protocols there's medical science all of these things have been studied and you can see how infuriated Tucker Carlson got there. You could see how infuriated he was that he had a guest on that actually challenged him. And he does that sort of maniacal laugh. Here's a, a super cut of it happening five or six times here. <laughs> Just, just absolutely losing it. And then at the end there, he makes it clear that he's not cutting the interview because they have to go to commercial or anything like that. He's not cutting the interview because breaking news is happening. He's like, you know, fine, thanks, done. We're done here. How dare this police officer explain with medical science and with officer science how George Floyd was mistreated. He was supposed to be on there as a talking head to promote right-wing conspiracy theories about how this is bad for the police somehow like it's it's absolutely crazy and it goes to show how tucker carlson's show is among the most propagandistic on mainstream media because let's be clear tucker didn't do that to candace owens tucker didn't do that to other guests that agree with him the second you challenge tucker he cuts you off like that because you are not there to be an interview guest you are there to be a sounding board and a legitimizer for tucker carlson's far-right ideas ideas. Don't lose this thread because Tucker Carlson remains the most dangerous man in America. And if you go on his show and that applies to quote unquote left wingers too, and he doesn't cut you off, it means you're a useful idiot to him.